we have the version 1.1 galactic roaming special program it appears it's a video form i thought it was going to be live but uh honestly this is probably better just so we don't get any buffering so here we go in the last few days our team has received some incredible intel from an anonymous source sounds a mysterious familiar. stellar on burst has occurred aboard the cien show la fu day we're lucky to have with us in the studio the Lafu Skyfaring <laughs> Hellmaster Madam Yukong. As well Giant heads. As Mr. La Cha. Madam Yukong, what's the latest on the Lafu situation? Well, for the most part, the Stellaron crisis has been brought under control. We've evacuated affected areas, and life has returned to normal in the safe zones. I see. Hmm. Mr. La Cha, I hear you experienced the La Cha firsthand. What was it like on the ground? Well, I was trapped in the Law Fu's Cloudford Harbor at first. <laughs> it was only thanks to the Cloud Knights and a fortuitous encounter with kindly strangers that I was gotcha. able to escape unharmed. Silver Wolf, I heard you infiltrated the Xianjo systems, which actually leaves behind a calling card. Like this one? Exactly, <laughs> just like. <laughs> oh. This place is different from the rest of the space station. Oh my We're god. Genius society turf. All right, let's get going. We have to move quickly. Not what we're looking for. It's a bait signal. She is such a like You can challenge the space station. But challenge me? Good luck. Welcome to Bellabog's History and Culture Museum. Wait, what? As you can see, the interior looks brand new. What's that? But we're in a bit of a bind. Our exhibit was stolen. Oh. Oh, yeah. A look. Hmm, so these are the suspects. <laughs> Enough talk. Dang. Never let your guard down in front of your oh, head. There she is. Someone just died right there. Whoa, why is she fighting uh, Young Ching? Oh, the, the little brawn is there. I'll write them down. Ooh, and whether or not your world has a day night cycle. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. As always, it's your host and good buddy Albert. Welcome to the Honkai Star Rail version yep. 1.1 Galactic Roaming Special Program. Hello. Hello. Good to be here. <laughs> oh, this, this she is. Today, we've invited yes, three special guests to be with us on the program. Introduce him. Hi, guys. My name is Melissa Fawn, and I voice Silver Wolf. Hey, folks. My name is Craig Lee Thomas, and I voice Law Cha. Hi, everyone. I'm Don M. Bennett, and I voice Yukong. Bennett. Pleasure to have you with us. And now, without further ado, let's get straight into Honkai Star Rail version 1.1. One. Uh, they make the little chibi friend? characters well, look so Judging from the trailer horrible. we just saw, it looks like all three areas got some updates. Heard a space station, Bellabog, and the Sienjo Lafu. I don't know if you noticed, but Silverwolf got the first bit of screen time. <laughs> just saying. I was like waiting for more of that, actually. Speaking of Silverwolf. I hear our notorious Stellaron Hunter is planning another visit to Genius Society territory soon. Let's take a closer look at this little troublemaker. <laughs> yeah. Kinda has a better personality to her. Thumbs down. If I'm not mistaken, Ooh. the first time we saw this mysterious girl was back at the start of the story. 
That's right. It's hard to keep an air of mystery when you're the first one on the scene, but... I <laughs> think she couldn't have timed it better. <laughs> <laughs> I think you couldn't have timed that better. So Silverwolf is capable of breaking through any and all defense systems. That's why she's useful to the Stellaron Hunters. Like actual I defense. See. <laughs> Second question. Mm -hmm. Melissa, you're talking about imaginary friends, right? I'm not sure that counts. <laughs> Says the imaginary okay, man himself. I'm talking about the AI modules in her weapons. See these little guys on her character artwork? That's friend. There's devil. This one over here is white collar. Oh, and this one's what? servant. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty adorable. When Silverwolf talks about her team of professionals, she's talking about these guys. Oh, hold on a second. Hmm. Since when did AI become so adorable? <laughs> Clearly, we're making a that really angry. Evil machines take over. Well, Silverwolf is a quantum type character following the path of nihility. She can apply different debuffs to enemies to improve her allies' combat superiority. In particular, her skill can inflict a weakness on enemies. The weakness she inflicts matches a random ally's attack type. Oh, Which it's random. To say Ooh. that even if nobody on her team has an attack type which matches an enemy's weakness, Server Wolf can create a weakness that will correspond to an ally's existing strength. Exactly. Yeah, Jarvis In addition, and Friday. Yep. Every one of Silver Wolf's attacks has a chance of inflicting the enemy with a random bug. Oh, there are three kinds of what? bugs, which reduce the enemy's attack, defense, and speed, respectively. Mm. Okay. And outside of combat, Silver Wolf can use her technique to attack an enemy and enter battle. Regardless of enemy weakness, she deals damage to all enemies and reduces their toughness. If Silver Wolf breaks an enemy's weakness with her technique, it triggers the quantum weakness break effect, right? Yes, that's right. What else? That seems. Uh, oh. <laughs> Her Very ultimate. specific. Silver Wolf's ultimate has a high chance of reducing the enemy's defense in addition to dealing damage. And I feel like you want that. I love that animation. So cool. It's like something out of a rhythm game, right? <laughs> see, I'm starting to see what you mean by the universe being a game to her. Mm -hmm. It doesn't stop there either. Did I mention her ability names? There is system warning, allow changes, awaiting system response, force quit program. Oh, you get the picture. Yeah. Oh, oh that's for a 10 set guarantee. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, how about single warp miracle? <laughs> <laughs> Sadly not. Hold the phone. We've seen him a little bit in the story. Why don't we take a look at his ability? Ooh, now we're talking. <clears throat> Lacha is an imaginary type character Let's following see. the path of abundance. For a man with medical knowledge, it's not surprising that he's strong on protection. He can offer healing to and dispel debuffs from his allies. For example, Lacha's oh, skill can restore an ally's HP. Hmm. When the HP of any ally falls below a certain percentage, Lacha uses his skill on them without consuming any skill points. This effect can be triggered again after okay, a second turn. Okay, that's emergency. That's pretty healing, nice. Healing, huh? Important for team survival. Sure is. After unlocking a special trace, using Lacha's skill also dispels a debuff from an ally. Huh. Using Lacha's ultimate. Death Wish dispels one buff from and deals imaginary damage to all enemies. In other words, if hmm. you've got an enemy that's always buffing themselves or debuffing your allies, La Cha has an important role to play. Uh, that is sexy. intriguing. And here's something else. Every time La Cha uses his skill yeah. or ultimate, he grants himself one stack of Abyss Flower. Now, when the Abyss, Abyss Flower reaches a certain number of stacks, La Cha deploys a field against the enemy, which lasts for a set number of turns. When the field is active, allies recover a set amount of HP whenever they make an attack. And that's not all. Dang, that After is good, unlocking actually. a special trace, attacks against enemies in the field can restore ally HP. Cool, it's <laughs> like a force field of healing. Yeah, he During debuffs and moves, buffs, heals, and attacks. uses his technique, Mercy of a Fool, his field will be immediately generated at the start of the next battle. Sheesh, Mr. Lacha, mysterious origins and extraordinary skills. That is good. 
Oh, you come. It's a bow. Somebody else here, we got it. And big to. tail. I'm talking about the elegant. She's imaginary Scott too. Hell master, madam, you come. About time too. Hmm. Well, from commerce, cargo, passengers, all the way through to the Air Force, the Skyfaring Commission is in charge of all matters relating to flight. Tong, give us a lowdown. Coming right up. Yukong is an imaginary type character following the oh, path right. of harmony. Her that's, skill that's, that's emboldening you. salvo grants her two stacks of roaring bowstrings. When roaring bowstrings is active, the attack of all allies increases. Yukong loses one stack what, of roaring seriously? bowstrings with every allied turn. In other words, Yukong's skill can increase allies' attack for two turns. You got it. During exploration, like, using Yukong's technique increases her movement speed for a set time. Okay, it that's kind of two stacks of roaring must pull for me. At the start of the next <laughs> battle. Ooh, sounds like a good recipe for shaking off what enemy pursuers. <laughs> using Yukong's basic attack triggers her talent seven layers, one arrow, which deals additional damage and increases the toughness reducing damage of the current attack. I this want her just for that. Triggered again after a set number of turns. Ah. When Yukong unleashes her ultimate diving kestrel, she deals imaginary damage to a single target. If Roaring Bowstrings is active, its effect is enhanced. Hmm. Increasing the crit rate and crit damage of all allies. Her days on the front lines may be over, but Yukong's skills didn't go anywhere. She's just like a Maybe better team. Day, we'll get to see her take flight once again. Ooh, like dang, and she's four star only. Man, really spoil for second imaginary character. Yeah. Is, uh, still, <laughs> yeah, you let's not forget what else we've got coming up. Bubble oh, gum in the rain, huh? That's a mood. <laughs> <laughs> the silver wolf energy is strong in this one. <laughs> Show is. that right. Path of abundances, echoes of the coffin. Oh, I wonder what that one does. It's like a snapshot of Lacha talking to the coffin. Wow, looks like some kind of thorny vines are emerging from beneath the lid. So many oh, questions. Oh, is it? I get a sense of mystery and elegance, but there's also a kind of tenderness and fragility here. Don't you think? Well, one thing's for what sure. On Earth is in that coffin. Curious about Lacha's coffin yet? They are now. Just a man in his ornately decorated vine-producing coffin. <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks. <laughs> Whatever you say, great. Check this out. During the first phase of version one. Oh, you call us on that one. Warp, contract zero. Dang. Twelve ages can obtain the limited five-star character Silver Wolf. There so Asta, Servo, and Dalho. Ah. The drop rate of the five star light cone, incessant rain, will be boosted. Now, during the second phase of version 1.1 in the character warp, Lake Pursuit, Pela. 12 Blazers can obtain the limited five star character Lacha and four star character Yukong. And during the same Double phase, Q. in the light cone event warp, the drop rate yeah, of the, all the five free star light stars. cone, Echoes of the Coffin, will be boosted. Oh, 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 oh I almost forgot to mention. When version 1.6 rolls around, Trailblazers can take part in an in-game event to obtain the four-star character Yukong for free. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm Details right. for this event will be announced through official channels in the not-too-distant future. Nice. Ooh, awesome. Why do they give us all this good information? <laughs> for a minute here, but uh, when we get back, we'll be talking version 1. Ahead of time. Unlike Genshin, they literally... They literally are telling us the next character that's free in the next patch, and they're showing us all the four stars on the banner. Like, man. Silver Wolf's mission was to help Kafka infiltrate the space station systems and locate what is the Silver Wolf's Stellaron. Outfit. It's like a that jacket. Wasn't and... Enough for Silver Wolf. Mm, I can believe that. She's been on the IPC's wanna list for as long as I can remember. Mm hmm During the invasion, she left behind some kind of digital graffiti. Just her way of letting everyone know Silver Wolf was here. <laughs> way to rub it in their faces, Silver Wolf. Still, artists need an outlet. <laughs> so like spray like paint or Silver Wolf energy to me. <laughs> oh, oh I to tell you guys the Posters. name of her homeworld. Punk Lord. Kind of fitting, wow. don't you think? <laughs> you gotta Seriously? Be kidding me. <laughs> no way. Afraid so. I think she was destined for this kind of behavior. 
Anyway, Punk in Lord. the Star Hunt game event, the Trailblazers receive an invite from the space station's network security engineer, Leonard. They have to help Leonard locate the digital graffiti hidden across the station and uncover the secrets inside. Wait. Oh, there maybe it's 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 there in this the event only. Okay. But if it's all digital, oh, I bet you need to hack into it or something. You might be right. We also get to meet a new Genius Society member. Oh, there he is. One of Madame Herta's collaborators, Screwlum. He'll be helping the Trailblazers, too. Whoa. Screwhead. Haven't we seen Screwlum before somewhere? I think we saw a hologram portrait of him in Herta's office. He's a robot, right? A oh, that robot was him. Genius Society member. Interesting. I bet he's got a few hacker skills up his sleeve. If he's helping us out too, I'm his sure His back we'll looks be like fine. a bug. <laughs> you know what I found out? Silverwolf and Screwlum actually faced off against each other once. You can see a snapshot of their fight in the We Will Meet Again light cone. Whoa. <laughs> okay, Screwlum looking kind of handsome there. Jeez, his portrait really doesn't do him justice. <clears throat> you know, uh, if no. you were the light cone, need a moment here, you know, the rest of us can head out. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this event will be the second time Screwlum's come up against Silverwolf's mischief then. I yep. did hear that the designs oh are collectible. The Trailblazer can apply them to in-game surfaces and take photos with the artwork. <laughs> so nice. Cool. Collecting the graffiti designs also allows you to unlock the oh, limited cool. four-star light cone before the tutorial mission starts. Complete the event mission Dang. to obtain Always Smiling, which can Before be exchanged the in the event time. shop for limited light cone special superimposition material, as hey, well look, as him. stellar jade. Hey, that's another good-looking light cone. Uh, uh, not to change the subject or anything, but I gotta ask, is that Albert merch I'm seeing over there? <gasps> it looks so fluffy. Yeah, that actually does look cool. <laughs> Alright, I think I might have to pull for Civil Wolf. Why don't I introduce you to the HyPC's merchandise department? If you guys had your own maybe. merch, they'd be sold out in no time. <laughs> or maybe let's just get back to version 1.1 for now. In the story thus far, Bellabog has wonder finally when emerged will be, though. from the Stellaron shadow. But there's a lot left to do. The city is going through changes. Any of you guys want to shed some light? I heard a thing or two. Now that the underworld and overworld are reconnected, Things are definitely heading in a better direction. One recent development, that Bellabog's fast? History Museum is getting ready to reopen to the public. Museum? I love museums. Aw, don't you wish you could take the exhibits home with you, though? The only problem is exhibits are being <laughs> stolen. Anything you'd uh, like to tell uh, us, <laughs> Melissa? Uh, yeah, she's taking them home. Wait a minute. I only just found out they had a museum. How could it have been me? I didn't say it was you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. They even have more animations anyway, on the cheapy faces. Anyway, in the Everwinter City see. Museum Ledger of Curiosities event, the Trailblazer <laughs> must help Pala track down clues and recover the lost exhibits. <laughs> nice. Well, I love a good who done it. Huh, sounds great. Well, that's not all. The Trailblazer Eris. can take on managerial responsibilities and help run the place. Huh. So what does that involve exactly? I'm glad you asked. The Trailblazer can do things like collect exhibits and enlist other individuals to improve the overall experience for visitors. After achieving specific what? operational goals, they can accumulate funds to expand the museum's exhibits and gradually unlock limited time rewards, such oh, as Stellar J, Lost Crystals, and self-modeling resin. Hmm, sounds like fun. I'm sure it'll be a piece oh, it of sounds like uh, when the limited time event is over, the museum like will remain as a mode within the game. Trailblazers can return to the museum at any time to check out the collection and catch up with colleagues. Of course, if you encounter any issues during the run, so it's like a museum, store management kind of simulation. Just get in touch with the IPC. Wait, we can have the service. <laughs> Gotta get ahead of myself. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Deep breath, Albert. Not everything is an IPC sales pitch. <sighs> Thanks, Dot. <sighs> this is what happens if you read commercials for a living. <laughs> no worries. Kind of did sound like a useful service. Maybe the IPC should look into it. <laughs> yeah, it actually was. <laughs> I'm sure our trailblazers are more interested in the content of the new version. <laughs> uh, let's get back on track. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A researcher from the space station found a combat simulation program Stellar of Flare. unknown origin called Stellar Flare, which contains a series of new challenge stages. Huh? More challenges? 
Every a lot of stage events for this. Flare has a challenge theme and corresponding special mechanism. Trailblazers will have to think outside the box and use any advantages offered by the mechanisms to complete the stage in as few turns as possible. <laughs> so uh, like kind of like Cotton Hall. Yeah. The difference mm -hmm. with Stellar Flare is that the special mechanisms might require completely new ways of thinking about combat. For example, in some stages, using your skill Wait, that's doesn't AOE. consume skill points. In others, damage dealt when breaking an enemy's toughness is increased, but the enemy's toughness will be immediately restored. Huh, sounds pretty Oh, that's cool. gonna be fun, actually. But yeah. I'm sure Silver Wolf will take care of it in one turn. It's like Forgotten Hall with a bunch of buffs. Uh, what if I haven't leveled up enough characters? Is it impossible for me to complete the challenge? Yep. Don't worry. To assist Trailblazers in completing the challenge, every Stellar Flare stage has a trial character suited to the theme. You don't say. I can get behind hmm. that. <laughs> the it's Garden like last of time. Plenty event. Recently, the cosmos has entered a turbulent cycle. Oh, there's so many. The calyxes are unusually active. The reality data contained within them has grown exponentially. Oh, is this just like a ley line overflow? <laughs> it means that over a fixed time period, trailblazers have a set number of daily attempts to obtain double the rewards from calyxes. Leveling up, here we come. The yep. next event we're going to talk about is called Lab Assistance in Position. All right, another one. Wen Shuling is a Department of Implement Arts researcher on Herda Space Station. And Wen she's currently Shiling. preparing research topics needed for the next quarter. However, the Antimatter Legion's invasion has messed up her progress. Hmm. Uh -oh. As a result, Wen Shuling has <laughs> asked the Trailblazer to help her collect monster materials for use in her research topic. If the Trailblazer collects and submits the experimental materials required on a given day, they can receive corresponding rewards. I got a question, oh. Dawn. Fire away. These are Space Station and Bellabog events, right? Aren't there any events or missions on the Sienjo Lofu? <laughs> you beat me nope. to it. Oh. <laughs> That's exactly what I was about to bring up. In version 1.1, 1. 1, three new companion missions are destined for the Sienjo Lofu. Oh. These missions will involve Bailu, Yin Ching, and Lo Cha. Uh. As for the specifics, hmm. I'm gonna keep that a secret for now. We can't go spoiling all the fun, can we? What? Ugh, not even Story one quest. detail? Come on, Don. Can you give us a little something? We're on the edge of our seats here. Yeah, come on, Don. Uh, all right, all no, right. No, don't. Don't stop, stop Do talking. Do you guys remember the girl with the blindfold in the opening trailer? And now, young man, allow me to give you a dignified end. I was wondering who she was. Well, all I'll say is that she and the Sienjo have a complicated past. And her appearance on the Sienjo leads to a dramatic encounter with Cloud Knight Lieutenant Yin Ching. And that's all you oh. get. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Surprises are worth waiting for. Oh, I hate waiting. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, no I'm it. afraid that's, that's all you're getting. However, I do have a little info Please. on some other updates. Interested? Uh, sure, I guess. Huh. Well, if nobody's that interested, then I suppose I'll just... <laughs> of course we're interested! What, are you crazy? Albert, you're interested, right? <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's better, good boy. <laughs> it's whoa, whoa, done, huh? Melissa. The check-in event Gift of Odyssey will also be arriving in version 1.1. For the length of this version, oh, as what? long as Trailblazers log in for seven days, they can acquire wow. ten Star Rail special passes. Ten free warps? Nice! They are just, version like, 1. showering people. We'll also people. see some system updates. When Trailblazers need to obtain leveling materials that only a certain type of enemy can produce, they can instantly teleport to an area where the enemy is present. Oh as well my as pinpoint goodness. the precise location of the enemy on the map with a marker. Sounds Bro. like a real time saver. Wait until you hear this. No kidding. Once the enemy in question is defeated, the marker will automatically move to the location of the next enemy. After all marked enemies on a map have been defeated, trailblazers can continue to pinpoint enemies on other they maps. They are going overtime. This process can be all repeated the until all daily respawned enemies of a certain type have been defeated. Oh, that's a lifesaver. I barely found my way to the studio today. <laughs> There's also a small combat surprise in yeah, store. Yeah, five events combat, in total, three ten that have lost their way may randomly enter battle. We don't want exploration. As long as the is defeated you before it manages to flee, additional leveling materials can Bro. be obtained. Enemy geolocation and additional material opportunities. Devs, I owe you one. 
Last they are just least, like. In order to help trailblazers stay in touch, version 1.1 also has a friend chat function. Oh no. So you mean, aside from helping friends through support assist, we can send them messages too? Oh gosh, you it's all it. over. Doesn't matter if they're old companions or new acquaintances. That's the spirit of trailblazing. It's probably gonna be like super oh, censored, hey, like Genshin Albert, is. What's your account? Let me add you. But then again, this is mm. nothing like Genshin what? anymore. I need to add you. <laughs> you can be my personal IPC customer service. What do you think? Prepare for spoilers. Hello. Hey, don't get an idea. It's because I nearly made up a service. Oh, I was just thinking of like yeah. people saying crazy things, hmm. but yeah. So you don't want to add me? Guess I'll just have to hack you. <laughs> Wait a minute. We can negotiate. Look at her face. Yeah, I'm gonna need those account details too. Count me in. Sorry to jump on the bandwagon here, Albert, but you're a celebrity anchor for the IPC. So I'll just have to hack. Everyone wants to be your friend. I'm flies when you're having fun. Oh, you did. Okay. Looks like our special program is coming to an end. Oh, oh darn. Hmm. As oh, the no. first guest on the program, you guys got any thoughts? Reflections. Complaints? Oh, it's been an honor to be on the show, Albert. I gotta say, we covered a lot of ground. Now I'm even more excited for the updates. Fingers crossed I oh, get Oh yeah, so when is it actually? <laughs> yeah, seriously, same. Great. How you feeling? I feel like I've got more questions than I came in with. What new directions will Lacha take the story in? Who's stealing exhibits from the museum? And what about those companion missions? <sighs> Guess we'll have to find out the answers in game. Mm, sure, yeah. we got a lot to do. As for me, well, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'd seen a lot of Yukong up to now, but this was the first time I got to understand her moves and role on the battlefield. <laughs> She's so cool. I kind of want to be her. Then again, I guess I kind of am her. <laughs> I had to double check that uh... for a second. I... <laughs> That's it for the Honkai Star Rail version 1.1 special program. I want to thank all you Trailblazers today for tuning in, and hey, see you on the flip side. See you when I see you. Later, guys. Bye. Bro, why why is this just better in you every didn't think it was over? Did you? See you on six point five? Six point five, what? Oh, June fifth. Well that was that was actually really good. Like everything that they're doing on Hawkeye's side is just like so it's so good. Like just the animation of all the the achievies. There's so many different animations. He tipped his hat. Everybody has all these different um, you know, like functions and whatnot. Looking around, smiling, all these expressions, using their phones and their hands and whatnot. Everything down to the wire. <laughs> it's just like better. Free Ted pulls, more quality of life stuff. Um, and the events are cool too. And then Silver Wolf seems to be pretty useful. I don't know if that'll that'll carry, but you know, not carry, but like that'll uh, last a long time. But yeah, Yukon looks cool with the whole sprinting ability. It looks like Yukon is like a cooler or like better version of Ting Yun. But like, maybe they work a little bit differently. But I think I like I like Civil, Civil Wolf as a character too much. I think I might just have to pull for her. Hopefully Kappa isn't like the very next person after uh, Lotra or Lacha, according to Albert. <laughs> Lacha.